Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. JP here at Websites for Beginners, and I hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll be looking at a new starter site, Gadgets, from Bloxy for WordPress. And as you know, if you've been following along with this channel, I'm a big fan of Bloxy, a great website theme, the free theme packs a punch, and everything we'll be looking at today comes actually from the free theme, and then you get all the premium power upgrades if you do go pro. You can follow the link in the description below to take you to Creative Themes, which are the creators for Bloxy, and then you follow the starter sites to have a look at what's going on there. A number of starter sites actually have rolled out since the last time we had looked at Petsy. One of my favorites is this one called Garderobe. Really great starter site if you want to get your online e-commerce shop going. And then they have Florio and car service, cleaning service, home decor. And the one we'll be looking at today is gadgets. Starter sites are great starting points. I know there's a lot of discussion often going on. Who uses a starter site? You should build it from scratch. I build most of my stuff from scratch. I like starter sites for ideas. But when I do surf the forums, I find that there are a plethora of people who really start a site with a starter site and build it up from there. Nothing wrong with that to each their own, and that's why starter sites are so, so popular. And what Bloxy has done recently is really focusing on those things that people are doing lately since we've been in this pandemic and COVID and lockdown, and we went more online, and that is to focus on blogging and e-commerce. So I am quite confident that all of these sites that are coming out currently includes blogging as well as e-commerce, aka WooCommerce. You can click here to preview it. It takes you to a preview of the site and we will jump into WordPress very soon. So I'll show you what's going on behind the scenes and what you can expect from it. Bloxy is going to give you the framework. It's going to give you the headers. It's going to give you the speed, the SEO, everything that you need to build out your site. All the content you see here on this site is created with the Gutenberg add-on Stackable. If you don't know who Gutenberg is, that's the WordPress editor. I read an article the other day that says no one uses the word Gutenberg anymore. I'm not sure where they are from, but everywhere I check, we still refer to WordPress editor still as Gutenberg. You know, it's one of those things that I think is not going to go away until they bring out maybe a new update to the editor and give it a different name. We just love names and Gutenberg is actually such a cool name. This then is built out with Stackable. You can also follow the link in the description below to Stackable to learn more about Stackable. Stackable is one of the few Gutenberg add-ons I would recommend purely because it does responsive design well. There are a number of excellent Gutenberg add-ons on the market, really funky, but the moment you try and style them for tablets and mobiles, they just become bothersome and it's about ease of use. So Stackable goes high on my list with a few, few others. There's still a lot of room for improvement when it comes to the Gutenberg editor and what it can do for the future. Over here, you have your products page. And this, of course, is drawn from the block archive that is created within Bloxy. So you've got a little bit of a breadcrumbs up here and then a display. This is all from the free Bloxy. And everything here is free, stackable free, WooCommerce free, and then, of course, Bloxy free. If we look at a single product page, you're going to see the single setup and I'm really one of those supporters that say to people, you don't need something flashy more than this. There are cases that if you have a much bigger shop, you really want to stand out from the race, you have a specific brand that you want to represent, then definitely you will want to do a little bit more. But if you look at this page, I judge myself as a user recently. I buy a lot of stuff online, especially here in South Africa. And for me, I'm interested in the product. I'm interested maybe in reviews, a description, and the price. That's it. I don't really care too much if it looks good. If it looks bad, though, I do care. And that is, again, why starter sites and themes like Bloxy help you with that. Very nice single product page. The About Us page is, again, created with Stackable. And you can see nicely done. There are counters there, good call to actions, a video, branding, testimonials, and these are pre-made blocks that come for Gutenberg. And then you have here your opt-in at the bottom and this footer section that you'll see on the pages. This is created with the widgets 
right inside of Bloxy theme with the new widgets blocks that we've gotten since recent updates. The blog again is our blogging that comes from the theme, which is Bloxy and very simple layout here, a grid layout with six posts. And if we look at a single post, Bloxy has done a very nice job with this upper title on the page or the page title that they give you this block with a hero image in the back with all your metadata included in it. And again, this is free. There was a time we had to pay dollars and dollars to get this in a pro version. Very simple layout here. And then you have a form element at the bottom. Oh, this is discussion for your comments. And then again, your footer. And finally, a contact us page, which will draw again from our friend Stackable. And then I think it's WP Forms, which Bloxy and Creative Themes prefer to use because it's free. I prefer to use other form creators like Jet Forms. I think Jet Forms, right? Form Builder. Really like that. Let's have a look in the back end what's going on here. And I'll point out a few features that I'm really impressed with. And we'll start with Stackable. To install the starter site, very easy, make sure you have Bloxy and its companion installed. And then you go to the Bloxy dashboard by clicking on it here in the sidebar navigation on the left and you select starter sites. The same starter site we just looked at now will appear over here. And if it's not imported yet, like this home decor, you select on import and you go through the process. Can't be simpler. And then if you want to make changes later on on the installation you have, you can select modify. Not sure when you will want to do that, but you have that option. Then as it is installed, you can preview it on the front end. And this is not going to be a surprise because I just showed you everything that we did on that demo starter site. Let's click on edit page and look at a few features from Stackable that I think highlights what you can do with this add-on for the Gutenberg WordPress editor. As much as I am not a Gutenberg user, I'm always drawn to it because I want to make it work. Yes, it's very strange. I like that challenge. I'll spend hours in making it work. And that is why I am super impressed with Stackable because there are really complex designs that you can create. This entire hero section is done with Stackable. And you can look at the layout by going to the list view and you will see we have columns, container, block, and then you have a column within that, another column and more columns, containers within that. This is a massive little feature here. Real complex designs that allow you to build out with Stackable. You can also have a look at what comes with Stackable and you would think that it's a huge amount of blocks that you're going to get. And you'll be surprised to see that it's not that many. And just like with any other builder on the market, you will find that most of the time you're just going to use five or six of these blocks over and over. And definitely the one that is my favorite is this one, Columns Container. Absolutely stunner, brings in everything. With this combined with all the other blocks that Stackable provides, you really get an opportunity to build out a mega site that's responsive. What Stackable also does well is hover effects. Here we have a display of a few of our products. And as I hover over it, you will see that we have a color change in the background. The hover effect and having a hover state you will find all over on the site. So in this case where we are working with this column, I have my column selected and you can see here from the list view, my column is within a columns container. Let's select the column again. And that's the heading, so select column. And then from the inspector on the right, you will see container background. Here we have our colors and currently it is set to no color. To activate the hover effect, you simply click wherever you see this little, what is that? A little arrow or a little plane, paper plane, hover state, and then you have hover. And if you go pro, you also have parent hover. Hmm, interesting. If I select this one, you will see immediately we switch responsively to the hover state. Again, something very nice. A lot of other add-ons on the market will give you hover, but you can only see it on the front end. And who wants to work like that? That's so 1922. Next up is the button group. Thank you, Stackable, for thinking like how we design. 
How often do you need to put more than one button next to the other? I sometimes work with three or four. And still a number of builders out there just stick to one single button. You have to create columns and then you have to bring it in. Give us a flex box or give us the button group like Stackable has done. The button group allows you to easily create more than one button and just drop them next to each other in the same line. Here, if I select this button, you will see that at the top, here in the toolbar, we have the button. But if I select the parent container, it says button group. And if I select that, I have included both these buttons. If I select this watch video button and I go to my three little dots and I click on duplicate, it's going to give me a third button and drop it in line. Very easy to style out these buttons. And if you need to apply spacing or certain settings to all of them at the same time, you select here on the button group. And now you have control over the column gap, row gap, and a few others, like the flex wrap. On screen padding and margins, really nicely done with Stackable. You can look at any container, any element, any block. And as you click and select it, you will see that you have control over the padding. Hover. I can drag the size of this container, but if I also want to apply padding, hover inside, click, hold and drag, and you can see I apply the padding very simply. Let's choose this element over here and very simply done. This makes it much easier than having to go into the inspector all the time and change the settings. Switching over to Bloxy theme now, two parts here that I think are worth pointing out. The first part is the header and the elements that you can add to the header in terms of your WooCommerce and your shop. And then let's have a look at the footer at the bottom. To enter our theme, we go to the customizer, Simply click here in the WordPress toolbar on Customize. From the Options sidebar on the left, select Header. And here you will observe all the elements that can be added to your header. This is a free version, and you already have these elements for account and cart that are related to your WooCommerce product site that you can bring in you get additional features if you go pro. So it's really worth checking out Bloxy Pro if you want to have full control over your online e-commerce shop. To bring in any of these elements is very simple in Bloxy. You simply grab them and drag them and drop them in many of the areas. You have a top bar, your main bar, and also your bottom bar. So you can create more than one layer within your header. The footer area also comes from our Bloxy theme, and that is also done by going to the options in the sidebar under general options and selecting footer. Similar to what we had with the header is you have the footer builder here. Again, three levels, you have a bottom, middle, and a top row. And what you do here is you can either bring in the elements or you work with what is referred to as the widget areas. And the widget is what is very standard to WordPress. The difference is that you can build them out here. To interact with them, click on the widget and that will open the widget area. And you can see from here the different blocks that can be brought in. And that is very nice. You want to add more, click on add block and look at that. You have all the widgets. Click on browse all and that will open the drawer with all the widgets as well as other blocks that you can bring in to build out your widget area. This really frees you up a lot because you basically now have an editor within your widget area that can really style it out and give you that freedom to make it look the way you want it to look. This is a no nonsense site, no flair here. It's very straightforward. It gives you great content and then it has an excellent store for WooCommerce as well as blogging for your updates and your news. I can highly recommend this as a starter site. Go check out Bloxy, follow the link in the description below. And then from me, go well and stay safe. Until next time.